from Auckland. <laughs> Carry on, Roger! Gentlemen, start your motor. is Mr. Fuji, who is the ranked number one contender and who could very well pull the upset in Reading one week from tomorrow night at the senior high school. Oh, 6.30, it's high flying fun. Pluto, sorry. It's the kind of fun only Mork can deliver on Mork and Mindy tomorrow night at 6.30 on Channel 48. Monster Go Home with Fred Gwynn continues. Oh, Grandpa, what are we going to do? They'll kill Herman. They'll kill him. They'll kill him. Shh. Tony Garia flying the headlock, putting a lot of pressure on the neck. Leading right back into it. I'm just going to say this. Classy and Lou Albano, they must think an awful lot of Ray Stevens for both of them to manage them at one time. And I can't believe, did you hear the introduction? Fearless Lou Albano. Well, certainly, a uh, view of the ring announcer only, I would suspect. He has and a maybe, lot of guts when you turn your back. <laughs> yes, that's when he definitely has a lot of guts. Ray Stevens trying to use the back door to escape from the side headlock. Maria really has it sunk. Trying to get out now. A lot of pressure on not only the neck area, but the looks like it has it high on the ear. The ear and the temple area also. Tony Guerrilla, look at him. Distracted already by Lou Albano. Yep. Keeping his eye on Lou Albano. Away, again, a, a plus there for Ray Stevens. Tony Guerrilla in the row. To the far side. Nice shoulder block by Guerrilla. Off the road. Stevens has him up. A slam. Down a kick out by Guerrilla. And now Stevens up in the air. Body slam. Over the hip. Nice big down. Right back into the side headlock. Did you see the face on Rich Stevens? After that body slam, he really felt that. Almost a count of three on Stevens. Forgotten where his shoulders were momentarily. I'm sure, Tony, all he wants is to get a quick bit on Ray Stevens. Oh, he would love that. But Tony taking his time. That Russian thinks he could make one mistake and doing one small mistake with Ray Stevens, you're done. Again, Tony Guerrero leading into Ray Stevens, applying more pressure. He's had a lot of success with this particular hold, but you wonder how much of this really is a defensive uh, Hold, how much happened in offensive line? Well, Vince, what he's doing, actually, he's wearing down Ray Stevens. He's trying to wear him down. And once Ray Stevens is worn down, he'll feel it. Then he'll go. He'll go for the kid. He'll go for the pin. Tony now. Back to his feet. Ray Stevens must find some sort of measure to counter that. Oh, referee back. Oh, uh oh. Oh. Both men really stunned at this point. And the man that gets up first. Stevens is getting up. Shaking the cobwebs out. 
And covering Gurria, the referee putting the count to. And Gurria kicking out just at the last minute. It looks to me like Tony Hood is next. Alfano, the manager, wanting a quicker count. Ray Stevens with a thumb in the throat area, it appeared. Steven also stunned. He's not moving too quickly. Cover again by Stevens. Two and another kick out by Gurria. It's so important. You've got to try to be aware, no matter how hurt you are, of that three count. Uh oh, bad driver. Ray Stevens setting up Tony Gurria. Hugs him up in the air. Go, go, kick. Ray Stevens almost setting Gurria up for the ball driver, moving the knee, Tony Gurria. Gurria came close. Looks like Gurria is coming to life again. A cover, not much of one. Sort of a half-hearted effort on the part of Tony Gurria. He's hurt. That was the best he could do. Blasi, the manager's there, Blasi Alfano looking on. Down to the canvas now, Gurria trying to shoot the half of, no, turns him over. Around the knee again into the right shoulder. A triple race team to cover. Oh, that was close. but again, Gurria not hooking the leg for leverage. Blasi yelling at his man. Right in the midsection. You could only think of looking that leg. Sometimes you can't think of those things, Vince. You're hurt. Tony Gurria. Doing very well for himself with a bit of momentum now. A right hand knocks him down. Tony put everything behind it. Ray Stevens did him credit. A tough competitor, to say the least. Coming right back, a kick now to the right pectoral of Gurria. Right hand had something behind it. Sort of a hook, a slug fist. What a matchup this is. Ray Steven has snuck it up the last three, four minutes. Oh, he's Boy, up on the toe. Kick to the chest. Right in the nose, in the face. Right on the face of Tony. And he feels it. Two great competitors in there. Neither individual wanted to give up in any way. Korea, face first to the buckle. Now Ray Steven won't let up on it. Again, a right hand. Hear the crowd yelling, Tony, Tony. On the top rope, left Ray trying to break this up. That's the reason for disqualification. He came close to Ray Steven. Look at it, right in front of the referee, deliberately choking Tony Gurria. Ray Stevens listening to the count. Stevens with a right hand again. Tony Gurria has taken an awful punishing. Tremendous punishment by Ray Stevens. Gurria, no, nice reversal. Oh, God. Now Tony clearing the cobweb. And Stevens with more cobwebs upstairs. Bagging off is Ray Stevens. One split second. Gurria right back with him now. This match taking its toll on both Gurria and Ray Stevens. Tony Gurria right to the midsection. Gurria setting him up. Knee there. Covers him. Gurria one, two. Oh, kick out by Ray Stevens. Stevens with a regular face. Stevens now, whipping Gurria outside on a concrete floor, and Ray Stevens oh, going out after him. Oh no, no please. Oh no, a foul driver on concrete. He did it to Stuka once before. Gurria escaping to the midsection. Referee counting in both. Both men trying to get Gurria. Gurria back in. Ray Stevens.
Stevens may have been counted off. We are anxiously awaiting this decision. Both men outside hammering away. Let's get the official time. Now, ladies and gentlemen, in nine minutes and 25 seconds, both men were counted out outside the ring. The referee declares the bout a draw. Well, Tony Gurion, 